Oh my goodness, look how beautiful this specimen is. Freaking clean, getting rained on. Leather interior. Let's get her fired up, all reliable here. Wait to start, we're good. Mm. I like turned the key halfway back and almost turned it off. What is up guys, welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. I'm super stoked for this one, not only because we have a new giveaway that went live, yes, there is a new giveaway live, so if you wanna enter it, go to lmpgear.com and get yourself a hoodie, not this one, this is one of the original hoodies we released early 2018. These beanies we do not have on the store, but we do have Loud and Proud beanies, so if you want one, we do have them, go check them out. Every $5 is gonna be 10 entries to win this truck, this 2001 73 Power Truck that went from like and like a clean stock XLT to what you're about to see fully revealed right now this truck I cannot tell you how excited I am to show you this it went from being like a super nice clean old truck I'm not gonna say oh it went from being an ugly truck no it went from looking like a cool clean immaculate old truck to just an even cooler and cleaner old truck so stay tuned guys hopefully you enjoy the video the giveaway though ends on March 18th, which if you don't know, that's only like three weeks. And if you want to get 10 entries for every $5 you spend, that deal ends in only five days and then it's gone and we will not bring 10x entries back and that is the best deal of the entire giveaway and i promise you there's not going to be a deal better than that one and this is the only time you're going to get that so if you want to get 10x entries you have to get in in the first week or you're not going to get your 10x entries anyways guys thank you so much information in the description below enter while you can i'm kind of nervous to show you guys this truck because I know how many people freaking hate it on the headlights of this truck for, I don't know what reason, the only reason I can think of is it's the people that don't have any vision whatsoever and they assume things as soon as they get half of the information. When I installed the headlights on this truck, I told you guys, I know they don't look right at the moment, but that's because the truck's not done. Obviously, I'm not gonna leave chrome bumpers on it and a like grayish plastic grill, you know, different colored mirrors and everything else. So you just have to trust the process and our trucks always turn out looking very good, at least from my standpoint, my opinion. Let's show you guys the full reveal right now and I think you guys are gonna be much more pleased with how this thing turned out than you thought. Here it is in all of its glory. So we got the truck back from the paint shop where we got the paint matching. That guy, I'm telling you, he's quick. I know I couldn't get the video to you the day it was done, but I dropped it off. Not the day after, but just the morning after that. So less than 48 hours, he said, your truck's done and it's ready to go. I'm like, are you kidding me? He's like, I put everything else on hold just to get yours done. First off, thank you so much if you see this video. You do absolutely incredible work. You can't get that service anywhere else. So I absolutely appreciate that. First off, these, according to the people that could not wait for the end result, these awful, horrible, hideous headlights, right? You know, just the cheapest, ho most horrible setup of headlights you could possibly buy, you know, because buying a $300 set of headlights is cheaper than buying an $80 set of Harley Davidson headlights. I don't know why people are saying that, but anyways, here's the truck in all of its glory. It looks absolutely great. Now you can see why I said these headlights will fit the color in the build of the truck so well. I know the other style of headlights would have looked good as well. I'm not saying that your opinion is not heard or mattered because it does, and I ask for you guys' opinion on many, many things. But you just have to trust the process sometimes because when I have an idea in my head of what I want to see this truck turn into, like, you, I just, I have to do it. And this is just what I wanted to do. I was like, you know what? This is the look I want to go for. It's going to give it that slightly modern, but still old school, aggressive, mean, you know, 2001 73 power stroke. And that's what I wanted. I know there's people that before they saw the end result, they're like, oh my gosh, keep it bone stock. Don't touch it. Don't pay the bumper. Don't do this. Don't do that. You know, and oh, you should have done the full 6 0 conversion. This isn't gonna look good. It's gonna look cheap. I don't know about you, but if you ask me, this does not look cheap in even the slightest bit. I absolutely love it. Couldn't be happier. And I hope you guys love it as well because one of you is gonna take this truck home plus $5,000 cash. If for some reason you hate the front end of the truck, you can change it. Let's just check this thing out all around. So we've got the paint match bumper. It's a 7.3 bumper. And all he did was he sanded down the chrome, primed the bumper, painted the bumper, cleared. You guys get the idea, the whole, all the steps. 
And you've got a 2006 F350 grill. It's a 6.0 style grill that was done by, I think it was MKM Customs, and they cut down the bottom portion of the grill to make it fit like factory for the 7.3 trucks. You've got these headlights, these spider headlights that I, I guess a lot of people hate. Bumper plastics were also restored as well, so those look very, very nice. Come around to the side here, and you've got the 2008 to 16 style Ford Super Duty mirrors, and those were also slightly sanded painted all that good stuff look absolutely great he paint matched them so perfectly to the color of the truck which is of course black but there's a certain paint code just to make sure it turns out and matches just right otherwise you can't have like a really good looking black and you have like a really dull ugly black you guys get what i'm saying i did not get around to doing the door handles on the truck however he did say if you want the door handles done bring a truck back because it was already done by the time i had said something because i messaged him literally the next evening i said hey I'm like, can you do the door handles? He's like, oh, I just got the truck out of the bay. Like, I'm literally, I just wrapped up everything on it. He said, how about you come take a look at it? If you want to get them done, I can run it back. You can run it back over and I'll get it taken care of. But he's like, I really do need to get on with some other projects. You got the back plastics were all restored, not painted, just restored. Here's that rear bumper for you. Again, sanding the chrome to where you don't have that issue of it flaking off. Primer, paint, etc. The whole stages. I don't know what all he does. All he said was he does it the right way and most shops are gonna go cheap and do it the cheap route. Looks great. I know there's gonna be some people that are like, oh, you don't, you don't really do anything to your truck. It's not a big enough transformation, you know, whatever. I build the trucks that I give away to me a practical, still aftermarket and cool, amazing, fun to own vehicle. If you want something different, there's other options out there. But for me personally, I build my trucks the way I would want my truck if I was gonna daily drive it day in and day out and I wanted it to be reliable and making sure the truck is mechanically sound is more important to me than anything else for this truck. We're still gonna have the front end look through and a bunch of other stuff. It's gonna get a full checkup. It's gonna be serviced, you know, bumper to bumper. Everything gets done on it to where this truck is a solid, mechanically sound truck. You're not gonna have issues with. You can daily drive it for another 200,000 miles and not have problems. Quick disclaimer, I'm not claiming if you own this truck, you're never gonna have to do maintenance on it. That's not what I'm saying. But my point is we focus on reliability before everything else. Just so you guys know, this stuff is very expensive. Even doing like what we did here, it's not a huge crazy list, but it was very expensive. Close to $9,000 worth of of uh, stuff that we did to the truck in two weeks. I mean, it's not cheap, and that's not including the truck. We did wheels and tires on the truck, and that was about $2,400 just for that because we only went with like a 33 by 1250, and the rim was a 22 by 12. Nothing crazy, not 24s and 14 wides, and you know, nothing super flashy or expensive um, in terms of like ridiculous, but very good looking, very tasteful setup for this truck, and it fits the build exactly how I envisioned it, and it just turned out amazing. We've got mirrors. The mirrors were about 155 dollars for the newer style mirrors and they are heated and power so they are heated and power which for all of you that are in the north you understand why heated mirrors are so important cab lights were not that expensive it was about 25 bucks just for the cab lights and lenses the LED conversion that's very easy to do very affordable third brake light again it was only like 55 bucks the headlights of course those were three hundred dollars those are the spider headlights I like them I think they're good they give the truck a very nice look and you can buy the $80 OEM stuff and just pop LED bulbs in there. It's cool if you like that. For me, I like this. The grill was $275. Tail lights were $165. And then the paint matching was $1,200 to get that done. Pretty reasonable. For the interior, the seats were $2,200 to get those done. Which again, there's people that'll say, oh, you should have got Harley Davidson seats. You should have done this. You should have done that. Whatever. I don't want to deal with trying to convert seats into these trucks. And I know that the Harley Davidson seats probably would have mounted up just fine because it's the same body, same mounting and all that stuff. I'm pretty darn sure. For me personally though, I wanted brand new leather, brand new stitching, not beat on for the last 10, 15 years. I wanted a brand new feeling interior and brand new looking. That way whoever gets the truck, gets a truck that looks and feels on the inside like it's all brand new, not, oh, we took a truck with 250,000 miles on it, we threw the seats in there and they're all cracked and faded and stuff like that, but they're not ripped, but they're getting close. I didn't wanna do that because it would've cost almost the same and it would've been less quality. So I decided to go with putting brand new leather throughout the whole truck and brand new stitching because I feel like that is the best way to justify the interior of the truck. And then of course you've got the cost of the truck, which was was $16,000 even before taxes I had to pay on it. That was actually a very 
reasonable price for this truck. I know you can find them cheaper if you're willing to travel forever away. I'll try to find the absolute cleanest trucks that I can in my area for the money. I'd rather buy one that's an hour away that never saw salt and buy one that's 15 hours away that never saw salt. Cost of shipping or flying out there and driving it back. Just It's just too much time and it's just not the route I'd like to go. It gets to be more of a hassle than just driving an hour, finding a good old boy that had this truck and kept it in perfect condition, just buying it off him. That's the way I'd rather do it. So it is not a cheap process. I hope you guys understand. Not to mention, we're giving you five grand with the truck. So if there's other stuff that you'd like to do, maybe you don't want the truck stock, spend the five grand, do whatever else you want to it. Whether you want to do power modifications, you want to do transmission stuff, you want to do whatever, that is totally up to you. You have the money to do that now and you can make yourself the truck that you've always wanted if this isn't good enough the way it sits. So anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If it did, smash that thumbs up. Please help us share this video so that we can get more people to see this truck and what we do on this channel and leaving a thumbs up helps with that tremendously. So thank you guys so much. Do not forget, if you wanna to enter to win this truck, your 10 entries deal is only available. This is the only time we're gonna run it. First six days, that ends March 1st and then the 10 entry deal is Done. The overall giveaway ends March 18th, which is not much further after that. So if you want to get in, this giveaway is short and sweet to the point. Somebody's going to be taking this truck home plus $5,000 cash. Might as well be you. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.